um, Kawasaki announced the new uh, naturally aspirated, which means no supercharger ultras. So basically, one thing that I didn't know, and I asked uh, JD to cover this for anybody else who didn't know, the STX 160, the Ultra LX, now the Ultra 160, and Ultra 310, I thought had three different motors. JD, could you just like real quick explain the difference between the motors on those or the, the skis in general? I'll give everybody some context too. So when the new, <laughs> sorry, Chris, when the, uh, so when the new 160s were announced, and just so everyone knows, I'll start off. The previous generation, uh, which ran for 15 years, by the way, they call it the Ultra LX. That's actually the Ultra 160 LX. It was very confusing for a lot of people. But anyway, we're, I'm talking to Chris, and he's like, oh, you know, they're launching the new LX. I'm like, yeah, it's the same. It's the, you know, 1498cc, four, you know, four-stroke, four-cylinder. It's the same motor they've been there's no changes to the platform. It's basically just the same upper deck. Anyway, so, and he was like, wait, it's it's the same engine. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, and it, and it occurred to us that there's so much confusion because of the naming, because the uh, previous generation, uh, naturally aspirated skis, they just called it the Ultra LX. So at least now they added that 160, which I think for new consumers, for, you know, guys talking about it, it really helps clarify everything. But um, basically... When you're looking at the ultra platform, you have the 310, which obviously is the supercharged version. And then you have the 160, which is the naturally aspirated version. The 160's got, I think it's 155 millimeter jet pump. You know, obviously it's really simple. When you look in the engine bay, there's no intercooler. There's no supercharger. Um, it's, it's, if you look in there, it's cavernous. You, you know that word now, Chris, my cavernous. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've done some videos on my, on my ultra 160. But uh, it's really simple, really, really easy to work on. So the STX 160 has got the same 1498cc as the Ultra 160. However, it's got the smaller 148 millimeter jet pump that they've been using all the way back to the 1997 STX 1100s. That pumps, you know, with the 12 STX 12F and 15Fs, it's been improved over the years. But it's the same 148 millimeter uh, sized pump. So um, also, I think the STX. Not talking about the engine, but it's about just under two feet shorter than the Ultra. So if you're if you're looking at them, the Ultra the Ultra is going to be your full size platform, whereas the STX is uh, a little bit sportier, a little bit smaller. Uh, did I answer everything? Yeah, I think so. So the uh, basically three, all three of them had the exact same motor. The Ultra 160 and the 310. Pretty much the only difference is the supercharger. And the uh, Ultra 160 and STX 160 is the jet pump and the hull, correct? Yeah, well, it's the same base of the motor. The internals are different. The compression ratio is different. Uh, the 310 right. supports a lot more horsepower. Now, the 310 engine is identical to the 300 engine with the difference of a much expanded cooling and oiling system. Um, so it gets, it gets a bit complicated from there. But a lot of the part numbers are the same between all three platforms. Good deal.